Okay, it's, 20, it's uh, Tuesday the 26th of April. We just had a glorious bank holiday weekend for Easter. Absolutely roasting hot. And uh, I'm just here looking across the fields. It's a bit hazy today. Okay, you can see the cows down there. They're all sat out, looking very happy. And um, you can see the oak trees just starting to come out. But coming back here, the walnuts not quite in leaf yet. If you're looking around the hedgerows, we had the blackthorn out earlier in the year, only a few weeks ago, and now we've got the quickthorn just coming into blossom, which is lovely. That's a bit over by the pond. We're going to have a quick look at that. Um, you can see the, the freshly trimmed hedges from earlier in the year don't really have a lot of blossom on them. But you can see, see further up here, some of the bigger hedges is just starting to come out over there. And then we're going to spin around here. It's all looking rather nice up on Titheridge Hill there, you can see the view. And then we come back round. A horse chestnut tree blowing in the breeze here. Now that is lovely. And what's nice about this tree here is that I planted that with my dad, I think when I was about 14. So you could say I knew that tree when it was a conker. And uh, it's just really getting going now, it's about 30 years old, just coming up for. Um, well, I'll get the stepladders out and we'll have a look at the, the white thorn blossom and we'll have a look at the uh, horse chestnut blossom a bit closer because it's beautiful. There we go. There we go, you can see these horse chestnut flowers blowing in the wind here. There's a lot of bees flying around. Obviously going to pollinate them. I zoom in on one, you can have a closer look at the flowers. Let's have a look at one down here. You see lots of little flowers with fronds sticking out of them and then little pink highlights on them. I want to see when they're blowing like that. Very delicate little flowers. Now if each of these is pollinated you should end up with a conquer on each stem but usually you end up with just one or two on this tree. It's quite a nice spectacle, really. You can see any bees around. I've seen quite a few. Of course, they don't get in the way of the camera when you're looking. You can just see a bee on there, that. Just getting in on the pollen. And he's off. There it is. I presume he's getting pollen to take back to the hive. Getting right in there. Now, where you can see that. Oh, it's gone.
Certainly flitting around over the different flowers. Well, I remember I looked at the hawthorn earlier, or the white thorn as I called it. Well, I'll just come out to have a quick look at it now. And it's looking really good. Blowing in the wind. It's very similar to the, the blackthorn we were looking at earlier, but just comes out later. And we're going to have a quick look at this. Not so easy to look at when it's blown away like this. I'm going to try and hold on to it. Can you see the lots of those little white flowers there? Little pinky bits in them. And the, and the branch is just absolutely covered. Look at that, some of them aren't out yet completely. It's sort of just in time for sort of May Day really. Um, well hopefully, these usually get all mostly pollinated so you'll end up with lots of little red berries, the hawthorn berries in the autumn. So we'll come back up here and have another look in the autumn. In the meantime, just have a feast your eyes on this really. Ooh, I just let go of the branch and it's blown away. Absolutely wonderful. I think I keep using the word wonderful all the time, but these things, things on the farm are just gorgeous, really. Yeah, you can see in the hedge here some more of the hawthorn out. It smells absolutely gorgeous. You see the little flowers there? 